Hey, New Life, hopefully your week is going great and the fall is treating you well. It's absolutely beautiful. But hey, I wanted to come to you today with a word, a word that I've been dwelling on recently, a word that has been really intriguing to me, a word that I think is underutilized, underused in our Christian walk. And that word is simple. It's a four-letter word, and the word is zeal, zeal. It's a word that we don't say much. It's a word that we probably don't know much about, but it's a word that's defined pretty simply. Zeal is simply this. Zeal is great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. If you know me, you know that I have quite a bit of zeal. At least I like to think I do. Great energy or enthusiasm for a cause or an objective. In fact, I look around the world today and I wonder why more people aren't like me. In fact, you probably asked that question wherever you're at. It's a simple question for all of us, wondering, am I weird? Is the world weird? Why aren't people more like me? Well, you know, over the last number of weeks, I've heard a couple words recently in a number of different circles. Revival, change, things need to be different. And people are praying for it, and they're wanting it, and they're desiring it, and they're asking the question, how do we get it? Well, I think the answer is simple. I think it comes back to that four-letter word in a good way, a good four-letter word, zeal. Would we see revival? Would we see change if we had more zeal? If we had more energy, enthusiasm, and passion for what we're doing? See, Scripture tells us we need it. In one of my favorite passages in all of the Bible, in Romans chapter 12, it says this, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. As people talk about change and revival in our culture today, I think much of what we're seeing is because we've lost our zeal. It says never be lacking in zeal. We've lost our passion. We've lost our excitement. We've lost our energy and enthusiasm for our objective or our cause. What's that objective? What's that cause? That people would come to know Jesus Christ and that we would be individuals that would help them find new life in Christ. You see, that's not a political agenda. That's not a social agenda. That's not tied to issues and stuff that we're dealing with today where we're sitting there going, we need revival. We need a spiritual awakening, which I agree. We need all of that. And ultimately, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit stepping in and giving people a soft heart, changing their hard hearts. And yet once our hearts have been changed, once we believe in Jesus, once we've experienced new life, then with it comes this zeal. And I can only imagine Paul in Romans as he's just gone through saying, why has your life changed? Because of Jesus and this grace that he's given you. It's no longer the law. There's now a new way forward. And he writes Romans 12 and he says, never be lacking in zeal. Have spiritual fervor for the Lord. I really believe that in our world today, to see change, to see difference, to see things in a way that they aren't today, that we need more zeal. So does your zeal have to look like mine? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be with big eyes and big hands and big movements and excitement. But see, inside of every single one of us is energy and passion. It just comes out a little bit different. I'm not encouraging you to be like me in the fact that you have to be animated. But I am encouraging you to live a life of zeal, to care, to be passionate about what you do. Because if the world saw us, as believers, as Christians, with zeal, then they would see something different. And I do believe if we live that way, that there would be revival, there would be hope, there would be newness and a way forward. So my challenge to you this week and for the rest of this fall, as we go into winter, it's so easy to think, oh, winter is coming, specifically here in Minnesota. How about instead of going into those seasons going, ugh, we go into those seasons going, yes. It's a new season, a new opportunity, a chance to show zeal. And if we do in our own unique way, what will happen? Well, I believe if we do show it, if we listen to Paul in Romans, that we will see change. We will see something different. And we just maybe might see revival as the Spirit changes our hearts first and then the hearts of those around us. So this fall, this winter, Show zeal and see what God does.
Have a great week.